Hello, my name is Rhonda Schmelter, and today I'm going to show you my technique for paint pouring on fabric. Here are the supplies that you're going to need. An apron, rubber gloves, muslin, stretch canvas, I use 16 by 20, tape, cups and spoons for mixing together, your flow trawl with your Jakarta textile paint. Also, coconut oil and an eyedropper. Place your stretch canvas on the table and stretch the muslin tautly to the base, taping all four sides. With the muslin secured to the stretch canvas, the muslin acts as a canvas and allows you to proceed as you would in a traditional paint pour. After the paint has dried on the muslin, you'll be unable to untape the muslin from the canvas and reuse your stretch canvas for future pours. Now you're ready to mix your paint mixture. Put your gloves on to keep from staining your hands with the paint. I use Jakarta textile paints because after the paint pours have dried, I place them in my fiber art and I want to be able to sew through them. I mix one half paint to one half flow trawl and approximately five to six drops of coconut oil. The coconut oil will create the cells that are in my paint pores. Stir the paint, flow trawl, and oil mixture until it becomes a smooth blended flow. Choose what mixed colors of paint you'll be using in your paint pour. I usually use a larger amount of white or black as my base color starting at the top of the muslin then adding several other colors, placing them in random spots on the muslin. Then taking a piece of flexible plastic, the plastic that I actually have been using came in the package of stretch canvas that I purchased. I take the plastic and dredge it from the top to the bottom of the paint, creating a flow through the pore. Now you can see the cells that have been created at the top of this piece. Pour up and allow the paint to flow down to create drops and waves within the piece. I take my paint pores outside to dry. Thank you for joining me today.